Meditation for Cardiac Arrhythmias Before you begin, please read the notes below about pairing an appropriate environment in which to do your meditation and consider the disclaimer about checking with your healthcare practitioner, especially if you have not received any diagnosis for your arrhythmia. This is not intended to replace conventional medical care, but to complement it. Please also do not listen to this while doing something that requires your focus and concentration, such as driving a vehicle or operating heavy equipment, etc. By following this meditation, you agree that you do so at your own risk. First, I would like you to think of a small physical action or trigger you can do when you are experiencing the arrhythmia that you can perform quickly, easily and discreetly. Discreetly because you don't always want to broadcast to the world that you are doing this. This trigger will help you get into a relaxed, controlled frame of mind and physical state when you need it. As you relieve the anxiety, that breaks the feedback loop aggravating the arrhythmia. So an example of a trigger could be something similar to a yoga mudra or hand position, something you do with your fingers which is not a position you would normally put your hand in. For instance, tucking the fingernail of your ring finger against the pad of your thumb behind your thumbnail. You can use either hand or both at the same time. Or maybe you're going to do something like curl your tongue back against the roof of your mouth. Be creative, invent something, and that will be your trigger. During the meditation, we're going to program the trigger so you can call on it at a future time. The triggering works better if you reinforce it several times over, so I recommend repeating the meditation several times. You're drilling the suggestion into your own subconscious so that you can utilize or call on it when you need it. Repetition is the key to getting this to stick, and although the statements we're going to use may seem to be at odds with how your heart is currently behaving, it is because they are affirmations or attractors of the state you wish to be in. First, make yourself comfortable. Although I don't recommend lying down, as the body tends to associate lying down with the act of going to sleep. I generally recommend a seated position of some kind with, with your feet flat on the floor. Don't cross your legs. Place your arms at your sides, or you can overlay one hand on the other across your stomach if you wish, but don't interlace or link your fingers. Ready? Excellent. Start by inhaling a deep breath through your nose at a normal rate. Hold it for a moment and then exhale normally through the nose. Once more, inhale deeply, hold for a moment, and exhale. On the next inhale, draw it in, hold it briefly, and as you exhale, allow your eyelids to drop closed. Let your eyelids feel heavy, and then allow them to get heavier as you continue to breathe normally. In a moment, when you inhale, you're going to draw that breath way down deep right into your belly. If you're in an anxious state, this may be a challenge. Perhaps it will seem hard to get the air past your throat or shoulders. It will go deeper though, if you allow it. Just do your best without straining or worrying. You can deliberately expand your stomach muscles if you like, feeling them rise up and away from your spine as one way to encourage the deep breath. If you're experiencing irregular beats from your heart right now, then those thuds are just background noise. Allow them to happen. They have no impact on what you are doing right now. You are focusing on your breathing, and that is all that matters. So inhale, feeling it go all the way down. Let your stomach rise, let your ribcage expand, and finally your shoulders. Hold it for a moment, then exhale slowly letting the air release from all three areas. Inhale again, same way, pulling the air right down into the stomach, expanding the ribs, and then the top of your rib cage. Hold for a moment, then exhale slowly. Take another deep breath in, you're doing really well, taking it right down into the belly, then the rib cage and the shoulders. Hold for a moment, Exhale slowly, let those breathing muscles relax, and now just breathe normally. We're going to move on to relax the body whilst continuing with the deep breathing. Don't worry so much about the three-step process. 
You've got the general idea now, so just allow it to continue that way. Inhale slowly again and let your attention move down to your feet. On an exhale, relax and let any tension flow out through the tips of your toes. You don't need it anymore, it is gone. Now, move your focus up to your calf muscles and your shins and again, on an exhale, allow the tightness in those muscles to ripple down through your ankles and feet and right out of your toes. Next, check your kneecaps. It's surprising how much tension can lurk there. If you feel any, let it go. Let them relax. Pay attention now to your thighs and your buttocks. Scan that area, becoming aware of the different muscles. The backs of your thighs where they rest against whatever you're sitting on. The fronts. Think about the sides and the inner thighs. Be aware of your bottom, your weight sinking into the chair. Now tighten all those muscles. You should feel yourself lifting up on the chair as the muscles contract. Hold it, hold it, and on an exhale, relax and allow that wave of relaxation to flow down through your thighs, lower legs, feet and right out of your toes. Let the tension go. Feel your legs completely relaxed. Your legs are like two featherweights, or maybe lead weights. Whichever way they feel to you, light or heavy, just enjoy that sensation while you take a few more deep breaths, letting any last little bits of tension go. If you have any irregular or fast heartbeats right now that you are aware of, that's okay. It's just background noise that serves no useful purpose, so let it go. Focus on your legs instead and how good they feel. They are completely relaxed. Moving up, be aware of your stomach and lower back. Inhale when you are ready, hold, exhale, and just imagine the tension there rolling down your legs and out through your toes. Feel it go like a wave. Allow your lower back to relax and flatten against whatever supports you, the chair back or the cushion. Focus a little higher now, into the chest area, especially the area around your heart. Keep taking those nice deep breaths in and out. As you breathe out, any tension around your heart leaves with the breath. There's a saying, inhale the future, exhale the past. You're going to inhale a relaxed future and exhale the tense past. You can say to yourself, inhale relaxed, exhale tense. Give yourself permission to relax. It is safe and correct to do so, no matter what your heart is doing. If your heartbeat is steady now, then enjoy the moment as you relax. Capture that regular steady beat in your memory. No matter what your heartbeat is doing, say the words I am going to give you in a moment out loud but softly, if you can, if not, then just say them inside your head, but either way, say them with conviction. So repeat after me. My heart is strong and healthy. It beats correctly at all times. My heart is strong and healthy. It beats correctly at all times. My heart is strong and healthy. It beats correctly at all times. Inhale deeply again 
and then exhale quickly, letting any remaining tension from your heart flow right out with that breath. And do that again. Very good. And now the shoulders. Allow them to relax and lower. Now let them drop lower. And on another exhale, let them drop lower still. And all that tension, let any last bits of it run down your arms and drop out of your fingertips. Let your arms become light as feathers or heavy as lead. Whichever way your body wants to feel the relaxation, it's all good. From the neck down now, you are feeling very relaxed, very light or very heavy. And what a wonderful feeling. Enjoy it for a few moments. Roll your head gently and slowly around in small circles. Exhale and let any tension in your neck leave with your breath. Open your mouth a little and wiggle your lower jaw around a little bit. Now let it relax, closing your mouth, but leave a small space between your top and lower teeth. No clenching, just relaxation. Your cheekbones in the area around your eyes. Focus on those fine muscles, and as the tension there flows away, any frowns or wrinkles in your forehead flow right away along with it. It feels so good to relax your face, so peaceful. Scan the rest of your head, your scalp, your ears, the back of your head where your neck meets your skull. Exhale and let any last bits of tension in those areas go too. It serves no purpose, it's okay to let it go. Check your body once more for any remaining areas of tension and let it leave with your breath or flow out through your fingers or toes. Check your heart area. If any tension crept back there, no matter what your heartbeat is doing, again, let that tension leave with your exhaled breath. Your heart does not need tension. It serves no purpose. Let it go. You are now fully relaxed and in a peaceful meditative state. Become aware of your thoughts. Observe them without attachment or even curiosity. Allow them to pass through for a few moments. And as you become aware of each thought, you're going to let it go. This may be by turning that thought into a cloud against a clear sky and then seeing that cloud dissipate into nothing. Or perhaps you are on a riverbank with an endless row of small rowboats tied up there. Put the thought into a boat, let it loose and let it drift away. You have more empty boats than you have thoughts. You can never run out of boats. Clouds can dissolve endlessly. There is no rush. Just allow the thoughts to come and then let them go. Now you are going to go deeper into this meditative state. Imagine yourself at the top of a short flight of steps, about five of them. It doesn't really matter what they look like, you don't need to see them. Just know that they are solid, not deep, and perhaps there is a soft carpet covering them. There is a handrail on either side. In your mind, reach out and take hold of the handrails. Feel them in your hands. 
You're going to count each step to yourself as you step down, starting at 5 and ending at 1. And as you step down with each count, you will allow yourself to go deeper. 5. Standing on the top step. Stepping down, 4. Deeper. Stepping down, 3. More focused. Stepping down, 2. Relaxing deeper still. Stepping down, and 1. Now you are going to program the trigger action you selected. Allow enough movement into the necessary muscles for you to do the action and hold it without tension. In the future, this action is going to allow you to immediately feel more relaxed, calmer and in control, including when experiencing an irregular, too slow or too fast a heartbeat than the situation needs and which causes you concern. It will not stop you from doing whatever you need to do in those situations. It will just allow you to do it with grace and in a calm manner. Say the following words out loud or in your head. With this action, I immediately become calm and in control. With this action, I immediately become calm and in control. With this action, I immediately become calm and in control. My heart is healthy and beats correctly at all times. My heart is healthy and beats correctly at all times. My heart is healthy and beats correctly at all times. Your trigger action is now programmed. You can call on it at any time in any place and immediately feel more relaxed and in control. Continue to hold the trigger position in a relaxed manner and feel the calmness. If thoughts intrude now, then without any worry, allow them to go as you did earlier. Clouds or rowboats, or any other way you feel like imagining them to go. Be calm. Be peaceful. It is time to slowly return from your meditation. Imagine yourself at the foot of the steps you came down. In your mind, reach out and take the handrails. As you walk up the steps, each count from 1 to 5 will bring you back to the lighter state of relaxation. Stepping up, 1. Stepping up, 2. You are returning to a lighter state. Step up again, three. Step up, four, lighter still. Step up, five. You are now returned to a lighter meditative state. From here, bring your attention to your surroundings once more, the room around you, any sounds or smells, your weight in the chair. Become aware of your body, Wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your head gently from side to side. Flex your hands and wrists. 
Flex your feet, aware of your arms and legs. Stretch gently and then open your eyes. You are awake and present. Be still for a while and enjoy the post-meditation calm. As Yogananda said, after meditation, sit still for a long time enjoying the inner peace. As you don't cook your food and then run off without eating it, but rather sit down and enjoy it, so also the meditation techniques help to prepare the mind. But after them, sit quietly enjoying the meal you've prepared. Thank you for participating in this meditation.